Hi and welcome back to my life on ice. Today I thought I would show you my recovery routine. So tips to help you recover after training sessions. We're not back on the ice yet, but with the recent announcement, hopefully it won't be too long. And these are exercises that you can also do if you've done a home workout, if you've done off ice skating, or if you're just feeling a little bit sore and stiff with your muscles. So these tips will be mainly for skaters and areas that I find take longer to recover, but I guess they can be used for any sport. So if you're not a skater, then some of these exercises and tips might help you too. The first thing I really like to use is one of these spiky balls to roll out my feet. I find these are absolutely amazing to work out any tight bits, if you've been in your skates for a long time and your feet just really ache, rolling with these can really, really help release any tension in your foot. I like to roll from the heel to the toe and roll it across my foot all the way to the little toes. And then I'll also go side to side, so from the outside to the inside of my foot, really working any tension. And if there's any bits that feel sore or tighter, I'll spend a little bit more time on there and you might be able to hear but my feet do click when I do this and it feels absolutely amazing and once I've finished it feels like I've got new feet. I also like to use these balls to roll out my calf muscles, they do sometimes tend to be tighter especially if I've been doing some running or anything like that as well during my training so I do like to roll this up and down my calf muscle and I find that really releases any tension in the lower leg and also my feet as well. You can also use a roller stick like this, so it's the same sort of size as the ball but just on a stick and this is also great for calf muscles. So you can just roll it along and you don't have to worry about having the pressure of the floor and it is easier to adjust the pressure. These roller sticks can also be used on your quads. And again, if there's any tighter spots, you can just roll over those more and really work out any knots. I actually prefer these to bigger foam rollers because they are easier to transport so they fit in your bag especially if you're traveling abroad they are easier to put in a suitcase or your hand luggage and I find you can also get more precision with them and they're a little less awkward than trying to sit on one of these to do your legs. These are great for backs um, but I tend to find that my legs are the areas that I need to work on the most to recover um, so I do tend to use things like this rather than the full size foam roller. Stretching is a really important part of recovery after training. I would do a full stretch either in the rink or as soon as I got back to wherever I was staying. However for this video I'm just going to show you some of my favourite stretches and stretches that I find work really well and I have been shown and I think are absolutely great to share with you. So the first stretch I absolutely love and is really great for skaters is a stretch for your glutes. So this is great if you've had a really hard training session and you've been pushing loads and you're feeling really tight in your bump and back of your legs. So you just sit with your legs crossed, reach the arms up, cross them behind your head and reach forwards. And then once you're forwards, reach your arms as far forwards as possible. You might find you can only get to sort of here and that's stretching you. If not, just go as far forwards as you can and keep reaching and you should feel it across your glutes. Once you've held it, you can then cross your legs the other way and you'll target the other glute. So again, leaning forwards and I just find that this stretch feels amazing. Another stretch I really like is if you've got really tight quads. Again, from lots of pushing, I found this exercise on 
Another exercise I like to do is, another stretch I like to do is for my quads. I was shown this exercise at skate camp on like day three of really tough skate camp, did skating loads, so my legs were really tired and really sore and I thought that this exercise wasn't going to do anything and I did it and I was like, oh my gosh, like my legs feel absolutely fine now. So I would really recommend this if you've got lots of skating to do and you've already done loads of skating and your legs just feel like they want to give up. Um, so you can either use a wall or just freestanding and I would recommend putting something soft under your knees if you've got knee problems. So you're gonna be up in a lunge and your back foot is gonna be up a wall. So when I had really tight quads, this position absolutely killed and I couldn't bring my bum back or anything and I was probably out here and it was so sore. So you hold this position to start off with then you pull your foot into your bum without actually touching it. So you're using these muscles here. So you pull, 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 really tighten the back of your leg. And then relax it. And you should find you can go a little bit further back and it's less tight here. If you have really done loads of work, it may take a few times of doing this for it to feel any different. I'm not a physio, so I don't quite know how it works, but I think by pulling your leg in, you're activating the muscles in the backs of your leg so that you're allowing the ones in the front, the tighter muscles to relax. And then back. And then obviously do it on the other leg as well. So it's a super simple stretch, um, which I did not expect to help, but it really does help. So I would totally recommend doing that stretch if you've got tight quads. So the final stretch I'm gonna show you is for your shoulders and upper back. I find that especially in synchronized skating, if you've done a lot of lifting, or even if you've been training in the gym and you've been lifting weights, my back and shoulders can sometimes just hold extra tension Feel like they're really achy. you can use a foam roller or any sort of elevated object around the same sort of size or even higher if you want a deeper stretch so you're just going to put your hands together on the foam roller and then drop your head between your arms and then this just releases everything off and your arms and it feels amazing my final tip for recovering after training session is to have a nice hot bath with lots of lovely bubbles. These are my favourites for recovery. I find that they really do work. Um, when I first tried them, I didn't think that they were actually going to do what they say. I thought it was just going to be just some normal bubbles, but they do really relax my muscles and really do help. I also find that you can do hot cold showers, it's not the nicest, but basically if you've got really sore muscles in a particular area, you can shower them with hot water and then switch it to cold and do sort of 20 seconds of each, do that a few times and then finish with cold and it really does make you feel like you've got new legs or new arms or whatever was hurting it just takes away all that pain um, but again it's not the nicest thing to do but it really does work i hope you found this video helpful and that it helps you when we do return to the ice training and if you've got any other tips or things that you find really help leave it in the comment section down below i'm sure everybody would be thankful for more recovery tips and i'll see you next time bye